Hey loves, it's your girl Dee Dee. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Baby, listen, I had to hop on this video because I thought this was interesting to share. And I also wanted to get y'all thoughts on this particular video, this whole viral Jonathan Majors, Michael Ely and Megan Good situation, baby. This video has gone viral. Everybody and their mama is talking about this. And I definitely wanna get your thoughts on this. Do you think that Jonathan Majors was disrespected by Megan and Michael Ely in this video. Listen, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip for you if you haven't seen it. Definitely chime in in the comments. I wanna know your thoughts on this particular video. Was Michael Ely out of pocket? Do you think that Jonathan Majors had a reason to be mad about the situation? And what do you think Megan should have done differently in this interaction? Let me know in the comments below. I definitely wanna hear your thoughts on this one. Check out the video, here we go. <laughs> This is fire, love this, love this. Dion will love this, absolutely. I'm on, I'm on. Oh, so what do you guys think about the video? Definitely let me know. Listen, I will say this. I do think that Michael Ely was out of pocket. I hear people saying that there was nothing wrong with it. They've been friends for years and they've worked together. Listen, that's all fine and dandy. But when you are in a relationship, there's some boundaries that you should not cross. There's some things that you should automatically recognize when a person is in a relationship. And people are saying that Michael Ely is married and right. What that got to do with the fact that he knows that this woman is in a relationship with this guy and there are certain boundaries that you shouldn't cross in my opinion the way he picked her up and hugged her and she's smiling you could clearly see that Jonathan was ticked off by this he was not liking this he was not liking it you could look at his demeanor how he looked at her and she knew that he had a problem with this as well because the way she looked at him she knew that he was gonna be mad about it she could tell from his energy that he was not feeling this but you know she kind of played it off and she smiled for the cameras but honestly i just think that michael was uh, out of pocket bottom line i think that she could have kind of like backed off a bit but at the same time i will give her a little bit because she didn't know probably didn't know he was gonna do all of that you know what i mean you can't fully know what how somebody's gonna interact with you or, or, or how they're gonna approach you in these situations i think she could have kind of backed up a bit to, to to you know to to give some respect to her man but I honestly think Michael Ely was really the wrong party in this situation. It's almost as if he didn't even care that her man was standing right there. It was disrespectful, you know, and I always say this, listen, put yourself in that situation and switch it around. If you were the woman in that situation and another woman came up to your man and just grabbed him and hugged him tight and did the most and spent around and hugged him and did all that, you as the woman would not like that. You would be ready to fight. So you could definitely see that Jonathan Majors was really not feeling this he was mad about it he looking his he you know he did the side eye he looked over she knew that he didn't like that so clearly michael ely was out of pocket the way he addressed the other guy he, he shook his hand and and his wife of course i understand that because they're not friends and he shook the other lady's hand in a nice respect the way how you doing nice to meet you but he didn't know her you know i think sometimes even if it's your friend you still gotta understand that there should be boundaries when you are dealing with people who are in relationships the same way when you're married you want uh, you don't want somebody to just walk up to your wife and grab your wife in an inappropriate manner and i think women also have to understand that too you gotta set boundaries for your your friends even if that's your longtime friend you have to set boundaries too and let them know hey we gotta tone it down with this i'm I'm in a relationship and I don't want to cause any problems. But I think the main issue people were having with this was the fact that it didn't seem like in the clip that he even acknowledged Jonathan, that he just walked past him and he didn't say hello to him, acknowledge him or anything. But there is a video clip. And in this video clip, you can see that he actually did. And in, in most clips that are surfacing on social media, they're not showing him addressing Jonathan. So that part was cut off, but he actually did hug Jonathan first. As you guys can see in this clip right here, he did address him first. He did give him a hug. And then he proceeded to go grab Megan up and pick her up and hug her close. 
and all it is. So, and then that's when Jonathan was side side eyeing it. So he did address him. You know, I will give him that he did address him first, but he still proceeded to act in a way that I would say is a little inappropriate. Seeing that her man is right there, you know what I'm saying. And if you wouldn't want somebody to approach your woman in that way, or maybe he's okay with it. But I just think you have to, there has to be boundaries when you're, you know, in, in these situations. And, and I think he crossed the line. But also, you got to wonder if Megan was okay with that. Was she okay with that? She was cheesing and smiling. She know it wasn't okay with her, with her man. But does she think that that's okay? Because see, this is a conversation they'll probably have later on where it could turn into an argument. And this is sometimes how people end up breaking up their relationships because you have to show there are some boundaries when it comes to your man as well. You got to understand that you can't allow other guys to approach you in that manner. And I think this is partly why a lot of people say that she's for the streets because a lot of these women, and I don't know if that's, that's her case or not, but a lot of these women don't see that as disrespectful. They don't see that as a problem, especially in the industry where you work with so many different people and you have interactions with so many folks a lot of times these women don't see that they see that as harmless they see it as oh there's nothing wrong with it they're so used to doing it but to me if you're the man that you're with has a problem with it then it should be a problem it's something that you need to change or correct in the in the future you gotta you gotta have some type of boundaries to let these other guys know that hey hold up i'm with somebody so we you know we, we can't do this when i when i was single or whatever you know, I know we had a certain type of relationship, but I'm in a relationship now and I don't want any problems in the relationship. So slow your roll, you know, stop it with the hugs and the picking. You can hug, but there's a way to do it. And I think, you know, this is why a lot of people say she's for the streets. And a lot of people say, you know, it's just Jonathan's turn. And then there are people who are saying, you know, that her and, and this is alleged that her and Michael Ely might have had something going on in the past. There's other videos that are being, you know, that, that are surfacing about you know their relationship was a, a bit close in the past even though he's married i just thought honestly that it was it was out of pocket i ain't gonna lie and jonathan definitely was upset by it as he should have been it was disrespect in my opinion and we could all say oh it was just nothing yeah but i think it is something and i think we got to stop normalizing that it's okay for others to just disrespect you because to me it was disrespectful to her and her man because he felt like he could do whatever with our man standing right there and that's the probably the history that he has with her even though it's innocent and they're so-called friends and the fact that he did address him in the beginning he did hug him and say hi still doesn't warrant the way he approached this 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 man's woman i'm just saying that you're with him you should have you know and even she should have could have put her hand out and say wait hold up you know keep it cordial keep it cute to let him know okay this is not that type of party my man is right here so it, it was it was disrespectful in my opinion but what's funny about all of this is there were a lot of skits people were making skits behind this child people were making fun of the whole situation which i thought was hilarious i'm gonna go ahead and play a couple of the skits i want to get y'all thoughts on this one um and people are just showing you you know they're making a mockery of it which was funny to me but check out these clips here we go oh my God! <laughs> Whoa, okay, okay. What's up, my brother? What's up? My brother, what's up? <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's, let's get a picture. Let's get a picture. Let's get a picture. Let's get a picture. All right. Yes, sir. All right, my brother. All right, my brother. Hey, I appreciate you, my brother. What's up? Hey, I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Oh! Oh! I'm going. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. What's up, boy? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up, homie? Ah! 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 Uh, uh, oh, wow, how you been? <laughs> Let's get one more. Let's get one more. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna holler at you. Okay, great. Mwah. All right, boy. Ah, nice oh, seeing you, too. So cool. Hey, what's up? You ready? Coretta Scott would never. What do you mean? 
meet Jonathan, please, not here. Not J Jonathan, wait. So listen, let me know what y'all think about these skits, baby. I thought they were hilarious. People see what it is and, and they're making a mockery out of it because, we, you know, it, we see this type of beha behavior all the time. And, and once again, you can say, oh, it was just innocent, but it wasn't. It was very disrespectful and distasteful, especially on Michael Ely's part, in my opinion. I mean, it, to me, that shows that these men don't have respect for you and the person that you're with. They don't care who you're involved with. They feel like they can just walk up and do whatever it is they want to. Hug you, kiss you, spin you around. That shows a level of disrespect for you and the person that you're with. They're a little bit too comfortable. That's an issue. Y'all chime in in the comments. I want to definitely hear what your thoughts are on this. Do you think he was out of pocket? Do you think there was something that Megan could have done to stop that? And do you really think that uh, Jonathan was was a little upset by that? By looking at his mannerisms? And to me, you clearly see that he was he was mad. He didn't like it. But what's your thoughts on it? And, and do you think there's something that she could have did differently? to kind of ward off Michael's you know the way he was acting do you think that she could have handled that differently let me know in the comments below let me know what you guys think if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button it is free to subscribe share and like the video you guys and definitely chime in and let me know what you think in the comments below so that is it thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye